Hi, I'm Mike Swanbaum. Uh, today we're going to look at a problem where we have two different kinds of material that are each at different initial temperatures. They are put into a pot where they have to equalize in temperature and the whole time there will also be a, an input of heat that's happening due to an electric heater. So let's get started. So for this problem uh, we are basically putting alligator meat into salt water and as we do that the salt water is probably going to impart some heat into the alligator meat because the alligator meat uh, starts at lower temperature than the uh, than the water does so that's happening and at the same time we have this electric heat going on so basically what we have as far as this equation goes is that the amount of energy change in the water plus the amount of energy change in the alligator meat is equal to the amount of change of energy overall that we can know because we know what the electric heat is doing. Let me write that down. So, uh, change in energy of the water plus the change in energy of the meat is equal to the change in energy overall. And as we do this, each of these different uh, values, we have equations that govern them. So when we have a change in thermal energy, uh, if we know the mass and we know the specific heat and we know the change in temperature, this allows us to calculate a change in the thermal energy that's associated with that material. Okay, so let's do that and let's actually write that out for this equation. So the change in energy for the water is going to be equal to the mass of the water times the uh, specific heat of the water times the change in the temperature of the water. This is where we have to start thinking a little bit. Um, we don't know what the final temperature is, so I'm going to write that down as a variable. Uh, but we do know what the initial temperature is. I guess I'll write that down as a variable as well. And it is going to be different for the water than it is for the final temperature overall. You'll notice I didn't put a subscript on T sub F because T sub F is the same for everything because at the end of this problem everything will have equalized. Alright, now we need to put in the mass of the meat. And we need to put in the specific heat value of the meat and the change in temperature of the meat which again is the final temperature uh, and excuse me I noticed an error I put in over here we need to have the difference uh, between these two temperatures so here we put in the initial temperature of the meat Now, for this other uh, element of this equation, the overall change in energy, that we know because uh, we know the formula for how much electrical energy has been delivered over this period of time. And that is voltage times current times time. Okay? So now we're ready to put in some variables. The mass of the water it is given up here that that's four kilograms of that water, salty water. The specific heat value for that salty water is different than fresh water and this this problem acknowledges that. Uh, 3983 joules per kilogram degree C times Again, T sub F is what we are trying to find. That's our final temperature overall. Minus the initial temperature of the water, which we are looking at that being at the beginning of this process, and that is 62 degrees C. To this, we are going to add the mass of the meat, two kilograms. The specific heat value of the meat, which is 3120. Joules per kilogram degrees C. And then we will multiply by, again, the difference between our final temperature 
and the initial temperature of the meat, which is 10 degrees C. All right, this is all going to be equal to the voltage, 110 volts, times 6.7 amps, times the amount of time, and the amount of time that this takes place, uh, it says right here, three minutes. All right, so it's probably worthwhile at this point to look at our different units. Uh, what we have here is that our kilograms cancel kilograms, kilograms cancel kilograms. We have degrees C that are canceled here for our 62 degrees C versus the degrees C that's in the denominator of uh, the dimensionality of the specific heat. Um, and so we basically, we wind up with joules over here if we have volts times amps, that gives us watts. Watts is joules per second. Here we have minutes, and so to make this all consistent, we probably should put in a 60 seconds per minute. What this gives us is the ability to cancel out the joules that would be on the left side with joules that would be on the right side. And of course, the time there uh, would cancel out the seconds would cancel out with the watts that are implied by the volts and the amps. All right, so what we need to do now, because I think we've got our units uh, taken care of there, we just need to put in this whole equation into the calculator. And one of the really nice things about this calculator is that you can solve relatively complicated uh, equations and uh, it'll just solve them for you. You don't have to do a lot of algebraic manipulation. All right, so what we'll do is put in four times 39.83 times, and here we need to put in a variable. I will use the variable x. Okay, we'll do x minus 62. Okay, the next thing we'll do is add two. That's this next piece over here. We'll add two times 3120 times, again we'll use this variable x, minus 10, and now we need to put in an equal sign. This is going to be equal to 110 times 6.7 times 3 times 60. Okay, With this calculator, it's tempting to hit equals now, but what you want to do is hit shift solve. It'll solve for this x value, which it gives us here 53.35, or I'll just put 53.3 degrees C. And we look up at the answer choices up here, and the answer is B. Hope this video has been valuable. If it has, please give me a like, give me a comment, uh, subscribe to my channel. That helps me be able to make more of this content. I appreciate it.